Hi guys, Dom Goes here, and this is the A2004 NSAC 1200 Wi-Fi dual band gigabit router from Turtling. Now, Turtling is from the same country that also gives us Samsung, Hyundai, and of course, Kimchi, South Korea that is. And this router here is quite interesting. First, it's basically impossible to figure out where its front or its back for that matter is. You can place it however you want, and it still looks quite good. Also, these four antenna here, they can be folded on top like this if you want to pack it up or simply want to reduce the Wi-Fi range. Now, other than that, the router here comes with the usual 4 gigabit LAN port and 1 gigabit WAN or Internet port. There's also this USB port right here to host a storage device. This is quite a good design that makes working with the router very convenient. In my testing, the router has the top sustained Wi-Fi speed of some 130 megabit per second and some 80 megabit per second for the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz bands respectively. Now that's not super fast but not slow either. The router also had very decent range and most importantly very stable Wi-Fi signal. Basically performance wise is very good router. However, it can be tricky to make it perform well, at least in the States. That's because even when set to work in this region, the router still allows for selecting Wi-Fi channels that is not allowed in North America. On the 5 gigahertz frequency band, for example, only channel 36, 40, 44, 48, 149, 153, 157, 161, and 165 are allowed. Yet, you have the option to pick any other channels too, such as channel 60, channel 100, etc. And here's a kicker. The router has the function of picking the best channel for you, a tool that basically scans and finds the channel that's currently not used by surrounding routers and access point. And every time you use this tool, it will pick a channel that's not allowed, simply because it's available. But it's available because it's not allowed in the first place. It's frustrating. It's like using a dating service that always matches you with a nun, just because she's single. So, calling this one the smartest network device is quite a far fetch. Also, the web interface here is not the most intuitive I've ever seen. If you're willing to take your time, you'll figure things out. But if you are impatient, it can be quite a test of character. And for new users, all these menu items here can be intimidating. The good thing is, I am neither impatient nor am I a new user. And for that reason, I like this new router here quite a bit and find it worth the current $90 price tag in the state. Now, for more on this router here, check out my full review at Seattle.com. You know, it can be a great experience or a headache depending on who you are, where you're from, but not so much on how much you have in your pocket. And for that alone, it sure is better than dating. Don't ask me why. And that's because I'm Dong Ngo, and this has been the first look at the A2004 NS Wi-Fi router from Taroli.